Hi, I want to give you an overview of Adapted Mind today. Uh, first thing we're going to do is log in with a teacher account. And password that was sent to you by email. And when you first log in, um, you're going to see that the first thing the students will see is to take a pretest. Um, and it gives you the option to log in and take um, the pretest. And I'm going to get to that by another route here in a few minutes. But if we take a look up here, we are currently viewing um, a sample student, test student. If I click on this, I can change to um, view the screen as any one of my students in my list would view the screen. So I just wanted to show you that you have that option right now and signed in as a teacher account. If I go to my account, there's a few um, things I want to point out to you here. Oh, it's down here. Here you can see your student login information, um, so you can see what their usernames are because they might be slightly different than their normal username. Uh, every program has its own rules and restrictions for how you set usernames, so um, you'll want to check that list. Every student has the same password and that was emailed to you as well. So here you can see that you can add another student or remove a student. Um, you might want to speak with um, Jill or I about that before you do because um, we do have a limited number of licenses available. Um, so you might just want to talk to us before you add or, re or remove a student. Um, you can go here to view the roster. We'll, we'll go back to that in just a second, too. Um, right now we have not purchased reading, um, but they do offer a program similar in reading. Here's where you can change your password. Um, if you want to change it from the standard one that, that I issued you, you can go in here and do that. Um, Moving on down, this additional help, I think you might need this information sometimes. If you need something to be changed with a student account, you know, like there's a typo in their name or, or something like that, there's really no options in here for you to do that yourself, and I don't have access to any more than you do. So you may have to contact them and ask them to make the change for you on a student account. Um, this one, let's go here, email settings. Um, you can get progress emails on how the students are doing and everything is set for you to receive so if you find that you're getting a lot of emails from Adapted Mind that you don't want to get you can go in here and adjust these settings so that you're not getting unnecessary emails okay so I'm going to go back here and I'm going to go to the the view roster here you can see all of the students names and you have all these different options you can view their progress view prizes that they've earned take a look at some of their recent work, including mistakes that they're making. And what I'm going to do here is I'm going to log in as this test student. So I'm going to click here, and when I click on that, it's just going to automatically log me in as this student. So see up here now it says, hi, test. So this is what the students will see the first time that they log in. And they have to do a pretest to begin with. So we can take a look here and see um, what, how difficult this would be. Now, this is for a first grade class. Um, so we can put in our answers. And it's an assessment, so it's just going to make us go, um, go through these. And I don't think it's going to give us feedback on right or wrong because it's an initial assessment. So I'm going to hit pause, and I'm going to get through the rest of these 18 questions to show you what the students would do next. Okay, so I've completed the pretest, and it's telling the student um, that they've earned some bonus points and they've unlocked this prize, and they have these, this place where they can collect these little prizes. Um, it tells them how many they got correct, and it tells them how they're progressing on their grade level. So this says 0% of first grade math. Now, first grade is the lowest that Adapted Mind goes. So I have set up accounts for first graders entered as first graders. But for second graders, I entered all those students as first graders. So they will have to work their way through all of the first grade content first um, as a means of review. Then it'll progress them on to second grade content. And if they master all that, they can move on to third grade and fourth grade and so on. And one of the reasons I did that is because I don't feel like the content of Adaptive Mind is quite extensive enough. And this way they get that good review that they always have at the beginning of the year. Um, if they truly have mastered first grade content, they will fly through that and have a lot of success right off the beginning to, to motivate them to continue on. And it will progressively get harder as they go. So now we can um, see the detailed results. We can go in and practice more and so on. So I'm going to click on practice more. 
Okay, so right now it says do your math work, and when I click on this, it's going to start giving me problems. It's going to count up the number of problems, and it's going to count up when I get to 100, it's going to give me a new badge. Um, but I wanted to point out some other things here, too. This is my practice section, and I can put my answers in here, and it'll work me through a certain number of problems. It's going to keep giving me problems if I'm missing them, and if I get a certain number right, it's going to move me on to the next topic. But what's important to notice here is that there is a video lesson. If I'm not sure how to do this problem, I can click on Video Lesson, and it's going to give me these videos that go along with that content. Okay, so all of these are related to um, the addition that I was doing on that, that project. Then it'll also give me a worksheet. I can click on here and it's going to give me a worksheet that I can type the answers in or I can print it. And so teachers, you can print custom worksheets that are just what that student needs to be working on um, that you could print out and send home with the student or um, possibly push out to their computer so that they can do those from there. Okay, so it's going to work through all those different um, types of lessons until we get all of the first grade content mastered. If I click here, you can see all of the first grade subjects um, that are there. The student's going to have to show mastery on every single one of these subjects before they will have mastered first grade. And then they can progress to second grade, third grade, and so on. Okay, if you have any questions about using um, Adapted Mind, Feel free to give me an email or post in the Adapted Mind discussion board on my big campus.